The Federal Open Market Committee minutes are released this evening at 7 p.m. That's uh, Wednesday. Could be a market moving event if it gives any further insights into the inflationary environment in the U.S. It comes in the context of weaker than expected inflation data recently, which has put a big question mark in front of any further interest rate rises this year from the Fed. These minutes are from the last meeting from the 25th to 26th of July, which all but explicitly stated that September would be the month for the announcement that would focus on the balance sheet roll-off. Now, since then, a number of FOMC members have publicly commented on the appropriateness of an announcement around that issue, uh, while stressing their expectations of what they say is to be a very smooth and predictable process of the balance sheet reduction. In fact, uh, some Fed members talking about uh, a boring process, so they don't want to shock the markets. They want to preempt the markets by giving as much indication as they possibly can as to the point they want to start taking off uh, some of these bonds that are on the balance sheet at the moment. So now, how do you trade this event at 7 p.m.? this evening, UK time. Let's take a look first of all at the dollar basket because I think this is relevant in the context of where the dollar has been moving and the uh, big pull down that we've seen since the beginning of this year, the, the Trump trade boosting the dollar back end of last year and all this is well all this and more has evaporated uh, with the uh, dollar down at the lowest point at 92.28 here we are now at 93.66 uh, there has been interest in the dollar recently and uh, the macd pointing to momentum on the upside so potentially we have more gains uh, for the dollar basket will we get them at uh, 7 p.m this evening uk time certainly it's a tradable event for the dollar basket uh, some 60 percent of the dollar basket is made up of euro dollars so let's switch on to uh, what the euro dollar chart is is looking like and we've been following this uptrend here for the euro against that increasingly weaker US dollar. Now are things about to change? We're getting to a very interesting point here. Uh, we are currently trading at 117.27. We've got support at 117.14 and then 116.16 is another strong area of support which coincides with this uptrend here uh, for the euro dollar. Now if the dollar does strengthen, it does strengthen out of these uh, numbers this evening and the euro disappears below this. Uh, when that support is broken at around about the 116 level, you've then got these uh, uh, simple moving averages kicking in. That's the 50 period moving average uh, for the euro dollar. So certainly uh, trade expected and the MACD looking potentially for more weakness for the euro out of uh, anything that comes through at the moment. And expectations are that we could well see more dollar strength. And that is certainly what this uh, chart is indicating at the moment. So if it breaks 117.14, which is just below where we are at the moment, 116.16 is the next level of uh, support. And of course, also this has potentially an effect on the equity markets. This is the daily chart for the S&P 500. Uh, in the last couple of days, we've gone back up above what had previously been resistance and then support at 24.53. Uh, this trades all around the clock on the IG platform at the moment. We're at 24.70. Uh, that uh, record high there around about the 24.90 level, uh, below the 2000 500. So we are looking potentially for possibly some more records if we do see a positive outcome out of the uh, this evening's announcement uh, from the Fed from those minutes that uh, we saw from the meeting at the back end of July. So potentially a market moving event to come this evening at 7pm UK time.